Welcome, guys, to the channel. Um, on one of my previous videos, we did those solo drills that you guys can practice. Um, it was uh, the hip switching, four hip switches, the, the bridging. Um, so what I want to do in today's video is basically show you where those uh, warm-up drills, those drills actually apply in technique. Okay, I'm in Trudy's guard, maybe in an open guard position. We've been sitting here, we've been grappling for a while. I notice the one leg's a bit lower. I'm going to use this time to go for the forward hip switch. Okay, I'm going to post my leg over here, my hand posts in the hip, and I basically need hip switch forward. Notice I'm, I'm leaning back, that's the underhook. If you go to an under position, I need to be leaning back so you can't take my back. If I lean forward, he's going to pop out, take my back. Okay? So I need to make sure as I come through, I'm leaning, I'm leaning back here. From this position, I'm going to go head control, head control into side control, okay? From this position, make sure I'm in the under position. Okay, so from this position, posting, knee slides and right up against the hip, leaning back. This is to stop the underhook. Head control, slide in, under control. From this position, knee comes up, slide in, lean back. Back to the guard position. Okay, so my hand's posting, on the hip, on the other side. If I did it to this side, I'll be posting on the hip. That's to stop him from shrimping away, and it's also gonna be used as a, as a structure for me to lift up. So I'm gonna show him this side so I can show the leg. So, posting by the hip, I'm lifting my leg up here. This is to allow my body to float. See, I'm floating on my arm and on my leg. That allows for the, for the movement, so look here. That's allowed, my foot and my arm. Without, if I don't have my arm here, and I shrimp through, it's just going to shrimp away and take my back. Okay, so my hand is blocking on the hip position. The other technique is, uh, is the backwards hip switch. Okay, again, I'm in an open guard position, grappling here. I go for a knee over, over pass, okay? Knee over, I've got leg control here. I'm looking to go over. Toomey sees the leg over and he blocks. He's here. So, yes, I can try and force it over, but I don't want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, hand's going to come over to the hip. I'm going to have a backwards hip switch into side control. I'm still holding the leg. I'm, I'm controlled here. From here, reach in, grab head control, and into side control. Okay, so come over, you can do a knee over pass. Two knee blocks the knee. Okay, from this position, reach over, hip switch through, hold the leg, reach in, grab the head, and switch. I'm in side control. Two knees got his arm on my hip. He's looking to use this. Create space to shrimp away. Um, okay, so use it. So you push it off, create space, get the knee in to, to get back to guard. I can't allow that to happen. So yes, I can take this hand and physically move the arm out, but if it's a lot bigger and stronger, it's very, very difficult, right? It's hard to move it. So what I want to do is I want to use my legs. I'm going to post to create the space. Hip switch right up against his side, under this arm here. Now I'm going to come in real close and I'm going to finish my hip switch and I kill the arm. Okay, so, so over here, so create the space, hip switch, side control. Okay, and in side control, the arm is, taken, uh, is out of the equation, I want to get to mount, so I'm going to switch my grip, I'm going to do a combination of a forward and backwards, raise my leg, forward, backward, control the arm, step over to mount, and settle. So from here, switch my arm, make space, Forward, backwards, pull the arm in. This is stop, stop him from bridging and rolling. From this position, step over to mount, feet under the thumb. Okay, the next one, um, the technique we did was the bridge. And then I also showed in the bridge where I used my hand to block the foot. Um, so I want to show you specifically where that foot, that, that hand to block in the foot comes into play. It's basically to stop your partner uh, from getting the back position. So we're going to do it incorrectly the first time to show you what happens when you do it wrong and you can get the hook in and then we'll do it the correct way. So, I'm in side control. Okay, I managed to get my arm through to this side. So what I want to do from this position, I want to block the shoulder and I want to roll away. I want to get to my hands and knees. As I roll away and I start lifting up, so he puts the bottom foot in and basically pulls me back and he's got back position. Okay, common, common attack. Right, so what I want to do now to make it more efficient is from side control, I'm going to block, and this time as I turn over, this hand's going to block his foot. 
So now I try to put the foot in, and I basically block it, and I can recover position. Okay, so the hand is what's, is what's stopping him from getting his foot to back. Okay, so from here, blocking the shoulder, I'm getting to my hands and knees. Yeah, there, my hand blocks his foot, and I come around. And if you like the video, please give it a like, up and subscribe. And if you guys have any other input or questions for techniques that you'd like to see, please uh, uh, post them and we'll get back to you and deliver the techniques.